Oh boy, Double or Nothing is now in the books. This is the fifth Double or Nothing, man. What the heck? Uh, but it's in the books now, and um, yeah, we we could talk about it. I watched it last night, start to finish. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, I did w w finish New Japan's Best of the Super Juniors. This is the first time I watched the Best of the Super Juniors as it was going on, and I gotta say, this was so much fun. I really had a fun time kind of predicting the winners, looking at the points and being like, okay, who's going to win? I had a great time doing this and I can't wait to continue doing this. Uh, and then when like, you know, the G1 later on this year, that's going to be fun too. Uh, and we look forward, of course, because next weekend is Dominion for New Japan. So I'll be doing another one of these for Dominion. Um, so... Anyway, getting into that, the Best of Super Juniors is now over. Master Watto won it, which... Okay, that's a choice, Master Watto. He will be facing Hiromu Takahashi. Um, I don't know when. I don't know if it's on Dominion or if it's later on. We'll find out. Uh, I do know at Dominion, though, they did announce that it will be Shota Umino, John Moxley, and Claudio Castagnoli. Facing the dream team for the never six man tag titles. And that is something that I am so looking forward to. That's going to be cool. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, and speaking on the Master Wado match, his match with Titan, they had a great match. I will not take that away from them. The match was great. So many near falls. So many times I'm like, oh my god, Titan's winning. He was who I picked to win. Um, and I'm like, oh my god, he's going to do it. And then freaking Master Wado. Pulling Johnny Gargano on me. But it's it's an odd choice, Master Watto winning. We'll we'll just say that. But anyway, that was Best of Super Juniors. Moving on to Double or Nothing. Kicked off the show with the Blackjack Battle Royale. Orange Cassidy is always kicking off the damn shows. Um So uh I had fun as a battle royal. This is all a battle royals are usually always fun. It's very hard to make you bored during a battle royal. Um, big things in this match was, of course, we were continuing the feuds with Ricky Starks and Bullet Club as Ricky Starks eliminated both Juice Robinson and Jay White. Um, the best friends sacrificing themselves for Orange Cassidy. We had one where, uh, you know, Trent was going to throw Big Bill and Orange Cassidy was going to low bridge. So Orange Cassidy low bridge, but Big Bill reversed and he threw a Chucks and then Chuck got... Uh, inadvertently eliminated with some assist from Orange Cassidy. Uh, and then we had uh, one where I believe it was Big Bill again. He was going to boot Orange Cassidy out the ring. And then Trent pushed Orange out of the way and he took the boot. And then Trent got eliminated. So, you know, lots of, lots of, lots of showing the best friends care about Orange Cassidy. In the end, the final four was Big Bill. Penta, Orange Cassidy, and Swerve Strickland. Um, Penta was very quickly eliminated by Big Bills. Then we're done to the final three, where Swerve and Bill are like, yeah, we'll team up and get the champ out of here. Um, they beat him down, and Swerve's about to eliminate him, and Big Bill's like, no, 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 I want to eliminate him. And Swerve's like, all right, man, yeah, whatever. Uh, when Big Bill's not looking, Swerve then eliminates him, and then it's down to Swerve and Orange Cassidy. Out of... Everyone we could have got to the final two on, the two people who I thought had the most chance of winning this were at the end. Because if the title was changing hands, I thought it was Swerve. If the title was going to stay, obviously Orange Cassidy retains. So these two then did the whole, they had the mini match thing, many close calls. Prince and Nana was getting involved. Uh, in the end, though, Orange Cassidy just kind of kicked 
nonchalantly kicked Swerve Strickland's hand off the rope, so Swerve fell, and Orange Cassidy retained the international title. Fantastic um, Battle Royal. I loved it. Thought it was great. Not a method Orange retained whatsoever. Then we had Chris Jericho versus Adam Cole in the unsanctioned match with Sabu as the guest enforcer. Didn't do a whole lot of guest enforcing, because uh, right off the bat, the JAS, uh, Adam Cole, and Sabu just started beating each other up, and they all kind of brawled to the back, and then we got Adam Cole and Jericho fighting. We had Fire Extinguisher. We had uh, a long... Both uh, Cole and Jericho got attached to like a longer... Uh, to a long chain when it had cuffs on this each side. Um, in the end, after Adam Cole had hit the boom, with uh, he wrapped his knee around in the chain and hit the boom. He could have gone for the pin, but he just started pounding away on Chris Jericho, which is like punching him, punching him, punching him. So Aubrey just went, all right, I'm going to stop this match because Jericho's knocked out. You're not going to stop, so I have to stop this. So Aubrey called for the bell. Uh, Adam Cole wins via referee stoppage. Fine. This feud isn't done with. I didn't think it was going to end here. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. They've already said on Dynamite, it will be Soraya and Chris Jericho against Adam Cole and Britt Baker in a mixed tag. Britt also came out, by the way, and she got some revenge on Jericho hitting him with a kendo stick. Then we had FTR versus Team TNA for the AEW Tag Team Titles, and Mark Briscoe is the guest referee. This match was a lot better than the story of leading up to the match. You know, lots of stuff of Jay Briscoe, not Jay Briscoe, Mark Briscoe catching Team TNA trying to cheat and going, ah, nah, nah, nah. You don't get to do that. Uh, eventually, he gets knocked out when Jeff Jarrett accidentally hits him with a guitar. Uh, got some cheating from Team TNA, but Mark Briscoe wakes up and, um, you know, he slowly, he does the hurt ref pin, you know, the one, oh, two, and then. Dax Harwood kicks out. Jeff Jarrett gets mad at Mark. Starts saying, like, you stupid idiot, I told you to count. He slaps Mark. The Mark punches him back. He stumbles. And FTR hit the big rig and retain the tag titles. Um, after the match, we get a interview with Ricky Starks. He is then attacked by Bullet Club Gold. FTR rush in to make the save. So I guess that's going to be FTR's next title defense. Probably a forbidden door, if I would assume. FTR versus Bullet Club Gold for the tag titles. Either it's going to be a three-way match at Forbidden Door, them teaming with Ricky against Bullet Club Gold and one other person, or it's going to be a tag title match. I mean, you can do both. You can do the three-way match at Forbidden Door and then a tag title match on episode Dynamite. So, fine with that. Then we had Wardlow defending the TNT title against Christian Cage in a ladder match. Christian Cage sent Luchasaurus to the back. He's keeping with the, with the shirt gimmick when he wrestles. Um... This match was real good. I enjoyed it. Uh, they teased a lot of spots that never happened. Like Wardlow was going to do like um, a swanton off the turnbuckle onto a, uh, a table on the outside. He was going to do a powerbomb onto the ladder that was like bridged on the outside. They teased a lot of stuff that didn't actually happen. Uh, but still, some good stuff that did happen. We had Luchasaurus eventually make his way back down there. Uh, so did Arn. Eventually, Luchasaurus ended up on two tables that were set up on the outside. Wardlow climbed the tallest ladder in the arena and did a swanton, which is crazy, onto Luchasaurus. Uh, Christian was climbing the ladder. He was going to win. Then Arn Anderson showed up, pushed the ladder. Christian ended up in Wardlow's arms. Wardlow power bombs him, climbed the ladder, and retains the TNT title. Fine match. I just hope that we stop hot potato. That's all I care about. Just stop hot potatoing this title. That's all I ask. Uh, Jamie Hayter, the injured Jamie Hayter, defended her AEW Women's Championship against Tony Storm. Um, so, I had picked Jamie to win. But then I thought, nah, they're going to do the thing where this is she's going to get beat because she's injured and it'll keep her strong later on. That's exactly what they did. She was thrown out of the freaking... She was getting beat up backstage by the outcast. She shows up. Uh, Hikaru Shida and Britt Baker show up to beat off the other two. But Jamie Hayter, she's still too injured, man. She can't do it. And then Tony Storm uh, nails her with the Storm Zero and wins the AEW Women's Championship. Tony Storm is the 
first ever two-time AEW Women's Champion. So I look forward to Wembley at All In when Jamie Hayter gets the belt back because that's what they gotta do, right? The Outcasts have stolen the belt, so Jamie Hayter um, should come back better and stronger than ever. And then in Wembley, because she's English, you know, she she wins the title back. That'd be great. We then had an open house rules match with the House of Black putting the belts up on the line, the six man tag titles on the line. I'm like, oh, cool. Who is it going to be? Who could it be? It's the freaking acclaimed and Billy Gunn waste of my time. House of Black win. That's all you need to know. This could have been a dynamite match, seriously. Jay Cargill versus Taya Valkyrie for the TBS Championship. Uh, I didn't pay attention, but uh, there was a close fall with Taya Valkyrie where the crowd thought, oh my god, she could win. She wasn't winning. Uh, Jade Cargill hit Jaded and retained after the match. She, uh, she's now 16 0 after beating Taya Valkyrie here. Uh, Mark Sterling goes, there's no one left. Who else could it be? You know? Oh, well, there's one person left. Chris Statlander returned. They had the match right freaking then and there. Jay Cargill put her belt up against Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander, she hit her her finish, which I don't remember uh, the name of. But Chris Statlander beat Jade Cargill. Chris Statlander won the TBS title and is your new TBS champion. That's awesome. We all knew this is what they were waiting for. Finally, they've done it. We can get rid of Jade Cardgill. God. Thank God. Thorn in my side. Jade Cardgill matches have been the bathroom breaks of many shows. We can finally end this saga. She's held the belt for too long. Thank you, Chris, for coming back. And ending this. Then we had MJF defending the AEW, uh, the AEW World Championship against Jungle Boy, Darby Allin, Sebi Guevara, the Four Pillars match. Uh, some people might be mad that the world title isn't main eventing, but when the main event's anarchy in the arena and they're going to destroy crap, makes sense. This was a great Fatal 4-Way. Everyone got their stuff in. I loved it. Uh, there was a good spot where like everyone had a submission in on each other. Um, there was a spot where MJF told Sammy Guevara, because before the match, Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti announced, they're having a baby, congrats. Uh, and James tells Sammy, you should, you could still lay down, Sammy, I'll still give you the money, you have a baby on the way, you need the money. And Sammy goes, you're right, I'll lay down. So he lays down, and MJF's like, yeah, I got this. Sammy quickly rolls him up, and then hits the the, the GTH uh, for a close fall. Um, the ending was perfect. So, Darby Allen goes for the coffin drop and on Jungle Boy. MJF quickly gets in and he puts the title on Jungle Boy. Darby hits the coffin drop. So he nails Jungle Boy, but he knocks himself out because of the belt. MJF picks up Darby. Headlock takeover. One, two, three. MJF retains. Beautiful finish. This match was great. It started off slow, but it started pick up pace as we got along. Great finish. Loved it. Love, love, loved it. Who MJF's next title defense is going to be, I don't know. Uh, but I look forward to it. Then we had the main event, Blackpool Combat Club versus the Elite Anarchy in the arena. This match was crazy. Um, BCC had a live performance of Wild Thing, which, like last year, just kept going and going as they're beating each other up. Eventually, the Young Bucks make their way to the stage, and they super kick the lead singer to stop them from playing Wild Thing. There was so much blood, man. Oh my god, there's so much stuff that happened. Uh, Claudio and Matt ended up outside fighting in the back of a pickup truck. Um, Matt Jackson, when he eventually did return, he had an exploding shoe which he used to super kick John Moxley. It was crazy. Um, in the ending, there was a great spot where the Bucks are taken out and it's just Hangman and Kenny in the ring. And they're being surrounded by the BCC. And they look to each other. They look at, right at each other. And they're like, this is it. You know, we're friends now. We're back on the same page. We can do this. And they just go at them. Beautiful. Loved it. Um, the ending. The ending. Kenny's about to hit the one-winged angel and Wheeler Yuta. Don Callis gets into the ring to kind of stop him. Kenny senses him. So he puts Willie Yuta down, he turns around, and oh, this is his moment. 
he can finally get his hands on Don Callis. A masked man joins up, n hits Kenny with the knee. It's Kanosuke Takeshita! He's back, and he's still heel with Don! So then... Uh, Kenny is pinned. BCC win. And Don Callis reigns supreme again with Kanosuke Takeshita. And that's how we went off the air. Uh, I had the Elite winning, but if this is what we're doing, I'm all for it. I don't know if this is the end of BCC versus the Elite. It could be, and I wouldn't be mad with it, because then we continue with the Elite versus the Don Callis stuff. But if it's not the end of BCC versus the Elite, then this is probably leading to um, Blood and Guts, which I'm, again, fine with. So that's the show. 8.5 out of 10 from me. I thought the show was fantastic. Had a great time. There were matches I didn't care about, like the TBS title and the Freeway. But everything else I cared about, and I enjoyed it. So that is AEW Double or Nothing. 8.5 out of 10. What did you guys think of the show? Let me know in the comments. And that's it. No NXT Battleground. I haven't seen it yet.